some ways we can tell others about our party? Great idea! We could send out invitations for our Christmas pajama party. Or we could hang up signs about our Christmas pajama party all around our neighborhood. outside and yell really loud that we're having a Christmas pajama party! Come to our Christmas pajama party! This pajama party is gonna be so much fun! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Luca! Who? Who? I heard you shout! What is this party you're shouting about? Clubhouse is having a Christmas pajama party, and we want to tell all of our friends to come. Telling others about a party is fun. It's true. I have a story about some very special news. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Everyone, 
I'm Luis the Handyman, and I am just fixing this angel tree topper so I can put it on the top of our Christmas tree. <laughs> now, do you have a Christmas tree? You do? Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. Well, this angel reminds me of our true story from the Bible. Do you wanna help me build it? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Let's put it up on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Now, the true story of Christmas is about a very special gift that God gave everyone. Do you like to get gifts? Ha <laughs> ha me too. Ooh. Huh, now which gift would you rather get? A teddy bear or fluffy bunny slippers? <laughs> yeah, both are super fun gifts. Let's try another one. Which gift would you rather get? A train or a soccer ball? Oh, those are both wonderful gifts. Now, let's think about this. Why do we give gifts? Is it to show someone we love them? <laughs> yes. Well, God loves you and me so, so, so much that he gave us the most special gift ever. It all started long ago when God sent an angel to a girl named Mary. Wow, look, there's the angel. Mary was afraid. Now everyone, show me your afraid face. Oh yes, I think that is just how Mary felt. What? The angel said, do not be afraid, Mary. God wants you to know that you're going to have a baby and you should call him Jesus. And he will be so special because, everyone do a drum roll with me like this. The reason why Jesus is so special is, Jesus is God's son. When Mary heard this, she told the angel that she would do what God wanted her to do. And that is the beginning of the Christmas story. An angel told Mary that God was giving us a very special gift, his son, Jesus. Jesus is God's son. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me. Why is Jesus special? Jesus is God's son. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Now, there's more to the true story of Christmas, so we'll see you next time. Adios. <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. An angel told Mary Jesus would be born for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, an angel told Mary some big news. Even bigger news than the news about our Christmas pajama party. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Oh, I know how we can tell people about our party. We can put on angel wings and invite everyone in person. Just like the angel in our story. See you next time. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son John 3, 16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3, 16.